Hi, Natty Five. How are you? Hey, how you guys doing? All right, doing man. Good. What's up? I got a question to ask. Go ahead. Um, obviously, you guys are voting for Hillary Clinton, and that's fine. That's your choice. No, but uh, let me Fox stop News. you right <laughs> there. <laughs> there we go. Here we so, are. So, guys, never, you never do anything, any reports on Hillary. She's a criminal. <laughs> it's as obvious. you got to listen closer. I hate Hillary Clinton. Okay, so just, but you just never do any reporting. Of course, only we, of when course Donald we do. Does this every and Donald week, does that. every every single f-ing week, we have Leslie Gold on from Fox News Radio, and she talks about how Hillary Clinton is a criminal every single week. Oh, and that's fine, but I'm listening to you, not because Leslie. It's I'm, hilarious. I'm on the radio for your radio show because I enjoy your because radio it's show. Hilarious. We're, like we're talking guys. about it because it's hilarious. He talked. He said all Mexicans are rapists. Then he went to Mexico yesterday. That's funny. I'm going to talk okay. about it. Okay, but you understand the generalizations with things and politics, and he's not a politician, right? Well, that's obviously, he's an entertainer. Okay, okay, but but the bottom line is, is Hillary Clinton is. Horrendous. Horrendous. I've said that I don't know how many times. How many times have I said that, Ethan? Many times. Many, many times. Many times. All right. Well, I'm just saying, as a listener, I'm driving down the road. Well, you hear what you hear. You hear what you catch. You hear what you hear on your drive to work. You don't catch every single thing I say. And I'm not, listen, I'm not mad. I'm just saying that. I know, but you know, I know you're not not mad. I, I know you're just calling to make a statement, but I'm mad. Because I get this crap all the time, and I'm, I'm tired of it. Okay, well, I'm not talking specifically to you. I'm talking to both of you. Right. All right. But, but the bottom line is, is you know, there's, there's a balance in things. In all fairness, there's a balance in things. I don't, have, I don't have any responsibility to balance anything. I talk about on this show what I choose to talk about and what I think is entertaining. And that's fine. And you know what? There's a lot of stuff that you guys do that makes me laugh. It's entertaining. It's enjoyable. The whole nine yards. But when you enter the political realm, there's people out here that are very passionate about where we are in our country and how terrible the last eight years have made it for a lot of us. Right. Okay. So the bottom line is, is I know Trump isn't the greatest candidate on the planet, but the bottom line is, he's got a hell of a lot better than Hillary. All right. All right. Well, that's your and, that's your and, opinion. And that's, that's fine. That's fine. We, we respect so, so You know what? The last thing I know is he doesn't have his fingers in every damn thing that has to do with corruption. All right. All right, Steve. We got to go. All right. See you later. Take care. Later. The most frustrating misconception about our job, well, there's two of them, is one that we have to, we're held to the same responsibilities as journalists, which is not true. We make penis jokes for a living. Right. And then when we do talk about the other frustrating thing is when we do talk about politics. Very frustrating. People think that we have a responsibility to present both sides. That no. we have to do a point counterpoint. No. This is not MSNBC. This is not Fox News. This is not CNN. This is a morning radio show that talks about farting. Right. We do penis jokes. Right. We talk about women's breasts. And we talk about entertainers like Donald Trump. You got to talk about him. Yeah, they it's think, the election. Well, they think that, like, I, I, if we come on the show and I say I like peanut butter, that you have to say I don't like peanut butter. Yeah. Sometimes both of us like peanut butter. Sometimes both of us don't like peanut right. butter. But if peanut butter does something really funny, and jelly doesn't, <laughs> we're going to talk about the funny thing that peanut butter did that jelly didn't do. It's an interesting analogy. You understand? Now you're Look following. It, but, but God forbid we should have an opinion on, on, on anything. Well, some people don't want... Some people... I, I, that I can understand. You, you, you know, over the years, you hear uh, musicians and athletes come out and make yeah. a political statement of any right. kind. That's frustrating to people. Some people don't like that. Some people just come to us. They just want to hear about boobs and sports. And, and, and that I can understand. Uh, okay, I understand that. That I can right. understand. But we are... In, in no way are we going to ignore what is right in front of us. Like, we're, we're not political experts. We don't have all the answers. But it certainly is top of mind for everybody. And we're going to talk about it in our own unique way. Right. Right? You understand? So, it's just, just everybody just calm down. If everybody doesn't right? calm down. I'm not campaigning for Hillary. I'm not campaigning for, for Trump. I'm not campaigning for Gary Anderson, the libertarian candidate. Here's what we're going to do. If we're, every, just, we're just hanging if out. If everybody here, doesn't calm down. Yeah. You're going to burn gonna, the building to I'm the I'm ground. I'm going to go into the back of Ethan's Nissan Versa. Here we go. 
I'm going to take the lawnmower out of the back of the trunk that, that, that he hasn't <laughs> taken out, that's been in there for a week because he doesn't want to mow the lawn. And I'm going to roll it close up to the building, yeah. and I'm going to open the gas cap, oh, yeah. use it as an accelerant, right. and I'm going to burn the building to the ground. There you go. Okay. Hey, well, what would that be like if you put like a fuse going into You'd the gas to, tank yeah, yeah. and then lit it? It's like a giant Molotov would the, cocktail. Would the whole lawnmower go up? Sure. Burst you right into flames. Uh. I almost burned the building down last week. Finkelberg yelled at me. What would you goes, do? Hey, can you not burn the building down with the <laughs> cigarette thing? <laughs> what was it, on fire? I said, relax. Yeah. yeah. It happens all the time. <laughs> I start these fires and I put them out. Uh, Just don't burn the building down. I okay? would go from Trump to burning the building down with a cigarette. Thing Get me Finkelberg. Yeah, okay.